This is Darshana Gochen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 4th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was down 0.14 points or 0.03% to 411.52. Total trade volume, however, was up to 200,115 shares changing hands at a total trading value of around 1.25 billion Khmer real or over 307,451 US dollars. On the main board, the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port saw the largest percentage rise, up 0.45% or 40 real to 13,300 real per share. It was one of only two stocks that saw a percentage rise today, the second being the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, which was up 0.27% or 20 real to 7,360 real per share. On the downside, four stocks saw percentage decreases, with the biggest loser being Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ PLC, down 1.3% or 30 real to 2,270 real per share. Both Grand Twins International and Pestec Cambodia PLC saw a 0.43% or 10 real drop to respective share prices of 2,340 real and 2,290 real. Other stocks on the main board remained flat, such as Akleda Bank, MJQ Education, and CamGSM. The Sienicville Autonomous Port recorded the highest individual stock trade volume of the day, with 64,098 shares changing hands, accounting for around 30% of all stocks traded on June 4th. Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ followed in second place, with 56,943 shares changing hands, accounting for around 27% of the day's market activity. On the growth board, DBD Engineering was down 0.89% or 20 real to 2,220 real per share, while JS Land remained unchanged at a share price of 4,200 real. In other market news, Cambodia Airways has filed and set terms with the United States Security Exchange Commission for its intentions to list on the U.S. Nasdaq capital market. According to the official SEC filing by Cambodia Airways, the company is offering 1.5 million Class A ordinary shares under the symbol CAKR at a price range of 4 to 5 US dollars, which would generate net proceeds of about 4.6 million US dollars from initial public offering. One report suggests the airline will use the proceeds for aircraft leasing, new air routes development, and working capital purposes. If successful, by our accounts, they would be the first Cambodian company listed on the NASDAQ. The Khmer real to USD continued to weaken to 4,099 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down to 104.21. Oil prices fell more than one US dollar on Tuesday, extending losses for a four-month low in the previous session, as investors worried about supply rising later in the year amid signs of weakening US demand. Brent crude futures fell $1.14 or 1.5% to 77.22 US dollars a barrel. Brent on Monday closed below $80 for the first time since February 7th after falling more than 3%. Gold prices also inched down on Tuesday after rising 1% in the previous session as investors awaited job data due later this week for clues on the U.S. Federal Reserve's interest rate trajectory. Spot gold was down 0.2% at $2,345.76 US dollars per ounce. Prices touched their lowest level in nearly a month on Monday before settling 1% higher. U.S. gold futures, meanwhile, fell 0.1% to 2,366 U.S. dollars. Over in India, stocks slid and the Indian rupee weakened after early election results indicated Prime Minister Narendra Modi's party could lose its outright majority. Meanwhile, in the U.S., stock futures were little changed as Wall Street looked to find its footing after an uneven start to the month. Futures for the Dow Jones Industrial Average were roughly flat, while the S&P 500 futures and Nasdaq 100 futures ticked down less than 0.1% each. This was Darshna Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 4th.